to Artitions Art. My name is Shilpa and I am also known as Artitions on the internet. And if you are new to this channel, then don't forget to click that subscribe button as I regularly share art videos, art ideas, tips, tricks and inspiration through regular art videos, speed paintings and tutorials. So I really hope to see you around in my future videos as well. And let's get started with what I have to bring for you today. So just in case if you don't know, I recently participated in Inktober, which is a month long challenge invented by Jake Parker, where every day you are supposed to make one ink drawing every day of October and post it on the social media anywhere you like. So it was a bit hard for me with my two little kids to come up with one drawing every day with a video because I wanted to do it with a video for my channel. So I did not do one drawing every day but I did one drawing every other day and I, I posted those videos on my channel for you all to enjoy. So if you have not seen that series I will put a link to the entire series in the description below and in some of those videos I asked my viewers or my friends that is you guys to ask me any questions if you may have while watching those videos so I have a few questions over here which I have written down in my sketchbook right here so without taking any more of your time let's get started so the first question comes from Leah Gafar and she says which sketchbook uh, have you used so hi Leah and thanks for your question. The sketchbook I have used is um, this one itself. This is Canson. This is by Canson Art Book 180. If you just type Canson Art Book 180 on Amazon, you know, you'll get a link to this sketchbook. And I have to tell you that this is like one of the best, best, best sketchbooks I've ever worked in. And it is so sturdy because I like to not keep my sketchbooks very well. They just are anywhere all around. And sometimes, you know, they are, go with me everywhere in the handbag, in my handbag also. And I'm not the one to have a handbag very properly on my shoulders or something. I just, my handbag is also very roughly used. So, you know, the sketchbook that I use have to be a very sturdy and rough and tough to handle all the bad behavior they have to go through with me. So, till now, all my sketchbooks, most of the sketchbooks uh, that I have used have fallen apart. Sometimes, you know, the cover comes out, sometimes the pages are getting out and all that stuff. But this sketchbook has been really sturdy. It has been with me all around in my handbag as well and it has not fallen apart even 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 this much so i'm very happy about that because it has not only not fallen apart it looks just as good as new you know as if i have not worked on it at all and i really love that about this sketchbook so anyways let's move on to the next question so anita patra asks what kind of art supplies do you use um but there is a similar question asked by Oa Art 16 and he or she says um, would you mind sharing what tools you used I can't quite figure out the blue handle one thanks for the questions Anita and Hova Art 16 so yes about the materials was the biggest question and Anita just said that what kind of art supplies you use so I'm just assuming because she posted in it under my Inktober video I'm just assuming that she is talking about Inktober uh, supplies only so that is what we will talk about right now so the supplies the only ink that I used for the Inktober um, all my Inktober drawings is this little bottle and this is Winsor and Newton ink uh, number 951 Black India ink. So it looks something like this. And uh, I made around 16 drawings and I used a lot in those drawings. And I used around this much and only this much is left now in the bottle. So this is the ink that I used. And for the pens, I used Stedler pigment liners. They look like this. You can just... Uh, type this on Amazon and you will find I think you get this in all the countries right from India to US UK everywhere 
uh, but I'm not sure about. I have seen this in the European European countries as well as Indian uh, as well as India. So rest of it I'm not sure about. But I'm sure you must be getting this everywhere. I have had an amazing experience with them and this too along with the Winsor and Newton ink. I highly recommend just in case you are going in for black and white drawings on your sketchbooks. And these pens are even used for my bullet journal as well. I am a lot into bullet journaling and these are my go-to pens for that. And the blue handle thing that Hova Art 16 was talking about is uh, this dip pen. And you know, I just randomly picked up this dip pen from a local store you know not even not even an art store and you know until and unless you asked this question i didn't even bother to check the brand so you know this is big brand and b i c and i got this from belgium so this came with all these little nibs with it but you know, this is the only nib that I used in my Inktober videos. Uh, and this is the cap of the Pringles container that I used as my palette for the entire Inktober thing. Nothing else, just this Pringles container cap. And then for the brushes, I just used this brush. This is just a flat brush with a V kind of tip. And last but not the least, I used this white pen, white gel pen. This is Signo Ballpoint 0.7 gel pen. This I used mostly, you know, for highlights and things like that. And you know, at places, wait, I'll show you. And at places like this for this girl where I had to, you know, make um, this flat thing. So. Wherever I need it, you know, I, uh, this gel pen I was using over there. So that's it. These are all the materials I used for my Inktober drawings. These are very less materials and I really recommend that if you are drawing or painting something, try and keep your materials to be very limited. Like if you are starting a series of painting or if you are uh, draw, if you are wanting to learn, you know, maybe pencil shading or maybe something like that try and keep your materials within a limit that will make your brain not waste time in thinking about should i use this or should i not use this or i don't know what if i use this and it gets messy and what if i use that and it comes out good and all that stuff your brain will just concentrate on getting things done rather than thinking about the materials so i really recommend that keep the materials very limited in whatever you are doing that is one philosophy that really helps me in you know getting things done for myself as well like imagine i used just these pens th this little set of pens and instead of this i had five more brands of pen imagine how confusing it would have been for my brain to just pick and choose and get con get all drowned in what pen should i pick up rather than just concentrating on my inktober sketch so that is what I am trying to convey. Oh my God, I talk so much. This video is going to be long. But anyways. <laughs> so the last question is from Aisha Ahmed. Can you please suggest a good sketch pad and other supplies you used available in India for beginners? So this question in itself deserves an entire video because I can talk so much about the supplies that you can get from India and that are good that are really awesome in fact i can't wait myself to get back to india so that i can buy all my favorite supplies that i don't get here in belgium so i think i will surely make an entire video about the supplies that you can get there but the main thing you asked is can you please suggest a good sketch pad so i'll just pick it up so you know the sketch pad hands down the best sketch pad that i have used in india and i got two new sketch pads uh, before i was leaving india for belgium i bought two new so that i can bring these for uh, with me they are that awesome the sketchbook that i use is oxford sketchbook you get in india and again if you type this on uh, amazon.co.in you will find it and we even asked about the other supplies that you can get from india so mostly i go in for the brand camlin but as i said if i you know talk about all the supplies this video is gonna get really long so i 
promise you that I will make another video with all the supplies that for that you can get from India for all the questions for today if you have any more questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to get back to you answers in my ne next Q&A video so before we leave I would like to share with you one thing that I'm really very excited about the most excited about are these beautiful fine art prints of my Inktober drawings that are available in my Etsy shop this is just one of them but there are many available in my Etsy shop and I decided to buy one of these they come to you packed in such a plastic sleeve with a cardboard on the back to protect them with a little signature on all the prints and a handwritten thank you note and for watching my videos I would like to offer you a 10% discount code for anything that you would like to purchase from my Etsy store and this code will be valid for one week from now so enjoyed this video and I hope that my answers were helpful to you and if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and once again don't forget to subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments below so that know that whatever I was trying to convey did reach you and was able to offer you at least something of value from this video so let's see you next time bye and happy creating bye